Alright, hey, hey, this is Mick here. So I'm doing the video on the uh, I'm doing the video on the Chimera shifter shaft support. Okay, there it is. This is this is what it is. We'll take a kind of closer look at it in a bit. Um, I got this for forty-six dollars. Yes, forty-six ninety-nine from Steady Garage. Alright, steadygarage.com. Alright, and they sell it. It says it fits the Grom Monkey CT125 and the Super Cub. I hope that's right for all. <laughs> okay, so if, uh, one thing, one thing you'll notice your Super Cub, it's got this really long, meaty shift lever. All right, it's got like it's got one for the back and one for the front. All right, it's got a, a heel shifter and a, a regular shifter on the front, um, and and it's it's really long. And the, and if you look at the shifter shaft. It's really long too, so that that combination it co creates a floppy shifter syndrome. Okay, it feels like it's kind of floppy. It's kind of floating around sometimes, and and Hayes and is always hammering around on this shifter. So I wanna I wanted to get something to support it, and I, I know they make shifter supports for this bike. Okay, um, if you look under there, it's 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 real long. We'll take a look at it when we install this. Okay, and. Um, so here's some of the features it says. It's a direct bolt-on shifter support. It stabilizes the, the shift shaft, okay? It's for extreme riding and racing, like Hades Mega riding, ripping around on the street and stuff. <laughs> Extra wide and thick for max support that you could add. And it, revol it, it prevents false neutrals and provides a positive shifting feeling, okay? so. So like you'll kind of you can feel the shifter you can feel when it gets in the gear more better you know and, and sometimes sometimes it doesn't shift all the way you know um, you'll 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 be able to feel and tell when it's in gear better okay <laughs> okay so let's go take a look at the kit real quick and then uh, we'll go install it all right, all right. So, yeah. okay so there it is. Chimera Premium Performance Parts, tested proven products, all right? And there's their website there, chimeraproducts.com, made in the USA. So that's the reason I bought this, because it's made in the USA and it comes from the USA. Because because of the pandemic, it's a real pain in the ass to get anything from other countries, specifically Japan or Thailand right now, okay? So so this is an easy, you know, I got it pretty, pretty, pretty quickly, okay? This is the part number here. Uh, CH-1218 raw. Okay, so they I think they make this in black also. There's a there's a color option. I think if you buy the color option, it's more expensive. Okay, hopefully this doesn't start like you know oxidizing and stuff. Um, hopefully it'll be okay. It doesn't matter. It's under the bike. You're not gonna see it. Man. <laughs> Chimera Honda Grom Monkey Cub 125 shifter shaft support. Okay, so that it will work for all of those uh, according to this. Okay. And here's what it consists of is uh, the uh, the support system, okay? There's a support brace, and there's a, a like a bronze bushing in here. I think some of them have like a bearing. This one just has a bushing. We you might want to lube that before you put that on there. Put put some grease on there, for sure, because the uh, you know it's moving parts, okay? There's a sticker, okay? It looks like. And it looks like you just need to, to remove and replace two bolts with this, okay? So there, there's two bolts. I'd imagine they're longer than the stock bolts, and they have two spacers with them, okay? All right, so uh, yeah, let's go do this. It should be easy. Two bolts, right? Oh, two bolts, and we have to take the shifter off, so it's not not as not, it's not super duper easy. <laughs> All right, let's do let's do it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to scribe your shifter, okay? So you remember where to put it back, okay? And I'm not gonna lie. My shifter is kind of messed up, all right? Yeah, so my shifter is a little messed up. The previous owner broke the bolt head off of it, so mine's a little bit different than, than yours if, if you had to break your bolt, bolt head off. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to mark it somewhere, okay? So what I'm going to do is mark it. It's kind of hard to see. I will take the camera off, but I'm going to mark it, like, at the 3 o'clock position. How about that? So we go for 3 o'clock, and then right, and then I'll go. Just just make some kind of line so you kind of have an idea where to put the shifter back, okay? If you put it back on wrong, it's, it's no big deal. You just take it back off and you move it a, a tooth or two until you get it to where you want it, okay? But, but like, it, it's a good idea to describe it so you have an idea of where to put it back, okay? Okay, here's where we'll be working. So that is where I scribed it, all right? I, I scribed it right here, 
and on the shaft itself. It's kind of hard to see because the shaft is like so far in there compared to this, okay? But that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the shifter now. For me, I need two 10 millimeters to remove it, okay? Because I have a bolt and a nut. I might wanna just add an extra nut to it so it doesn't come out. Okay, then the, my bolt should just come right out. It doesn't. Pull the shifter off. If it doesn't want to come out, you might have to have a screwdriver, okay? So I'm gonna get a screwdriver and jam it in here and spread it apart. He's like stuck now, man. Eh? I can't get my shifter out, man. There we go. Would you? Oh, okay. Yeah, so if it doesn't come out, you're gonna have to spread it loose, spread it open, okay? So you can get it out. Now, mine was really hard to get out, okay? All right, so, yeah, so it's too bad they don't have an instruction manual, but I think we can, I can figure it out. Okay, so it looks like, aha. Aha, I don't, I have no idea how this goes on. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, if you have, if you have a side stand, okay, I have, a, I have, I have the, the Honda side stand, okay, and it has this bracket on the step bar right here, okay. If you have it there, it's going to be harder to install this. You're going to have to, so what you're going to have to do is put it on and, oh, you know what, does it just go like that? No, does it? It goes like this. Yeah, you're gonna have to put it on a, at a weird angle and then move Wait. it a little bit. So okay. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so okay, if, if you have um, if you have a Honda center uh, side stand, it's gonna have this piece of metal sticking out the, for the bracket. Okay, um, you're gonna need something really skinny to get in there. All right, so you're gonna need like something like this. It's a quarter inch extension with an eight millimeter on it. All right, and then you should be able to reach it. I think if you use a three eighths, it might be too big. You know, it might mess it up. Okay, so I would go with the quarter inch. All right. So, so we gotta, you gotta remove those two bolts right there. This one and this one, okay? The oil doesn't come out of it. <laughs> so these are side cover screws are what they are. And you will be replacing them. Okay, there's two. They're the exact same length. Before you start installing it, I would clean your shifter shaft first, okay? If there's any kind of dirt or whatever, grease on it, get it out. Okay, this one looks pretty clean still. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some grease in there, okay? Just some plain automotive grease is what I'm using. Maybe don't try to try not to put too much, I guess, but just get some in there. Wipe the excess on the shaft. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna want to put this guy in here. Okay, like so. These are better have some really long spacers, man. These aren't long enough. 
these aren't. Hold on. I think it's supposed to go in farther. Yeah, I think you gotta go. Yeah. It won't go any farther than that. There's like a step on it. This is not yeah, going to work. <laughs> There's a step on the shift shaft, man. This this isn't going to work. <laughs> like, I mean, like, could it work? Let me see. Yeah, but the spacer's not long enough. Yeah, this doesn't work. It says it works on the cup. That is odd. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of disappointed in this product here, all right? <laughs> I'm going to show you why. Okay, if I take this off... There's a step in there, okay? It gets thicker towards the bottom, all right? And then it gets thinner right here, okay? This is only machined to fit on the thinner part, okay? It will not go in it any more than that. Yeah, it will not go anymore. That's it. Okay, so I don't know. Um, what we could do is we could make a longer spacer, okay? Put this here. Yeah, but then the bolts wouldn't be long enough. Could you do that? Oh, you know what, maybe it does. Oh, it's not long enough. Yeah, the bolt's not long enough now. That's the problem. This is, this was not, this is not designed for Maybe, maybe the other one, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it works on the other bikes, but it doesn't work on this one. I'm kind of sad. I paid a lot of, I kind of paid a lot of money for this, you know, for what it is. And it doesn't work. Yeah, it's got to go in there quite a bit. You would need a longer bolt to, I don't think I have a longer bolt. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I'm pretty disappointed in this, guys. Oh, I don't want to modify my bike. For this to fit I, I can modify it you know but yeah this is not gonna fit I think this was designed this is designed to, to go over here to fit over here okay but it doesn't fit the it gets already thicker there yeah what we could do is uh make the hole bigger if we made the hole bigger it could fit okay yeah that's not gonna go in there guys I'm pushing, I'm pushing, it ain't going through. It's gonna have to be enlarged to get in there. It's not, this This is not gonna work. That, this was designed to be pushed all the way right up in there, okay? And then, then you use the bolts to get in there. If, if I try to make it a longer spacer for it so it sticks out farther, uh, I mean, it'll, it'll give it some, some, some better support, but the problem is uh, the bolts aren't long enough. So what the heck, man? That's not cool. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna have to do is enlarge this hole, all right? So it'll fit over that, over the shaft. So let me go. Let me go measure that. This is not cool. Um, this should be. This should have been a, a bolt-on install, man, and it's not. I'm kind of pissed off now. Okay, so the hole is. Kind of a weird angle I gotta measure it at too. Alright. So the shaft is 12 millimeters, okay? Again, 12 millimeters there. That's what it says, 12. Alright, and if I measure the, the inner diameter or the diameter of the hole. Yeah, so if I measure the diameter of the hole, it's 11 millimeters. It's like one millimeter off, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's just it's just a teeny tiny bit off. Come on, what the hell, man? Yeah, it's like it's like eleven point five millimeters, man. It's just a teeny tiny bit off, so we have to just grind a little bit of this so it fits in there. I, I you know, I'm not happy with that. What the heck, man? I'm kinda pissed off right now. Well let me so I'm gonna have to grind this with the grinder so it open it up a little bit okay or we could press it on the, I don't want to press this on there man <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to install this let me okay, look at it okay welcome to my workbench so uh, I can't geez I guys I cannot believe I'm doing this all right um, so 
This one fits in there. All right, that one's like 11 millimeters exactly. And this one's like 11 and a half millimeters when I measured it. Okay, so we're gonna open it up a bit with this one. I hope. Ugh. It, that's a, it is a big hole to drill, okay? So I could, the, uh, the alternative is I could work it with the die grinder, but like making sure it's round is gonna be tough, okay? So even with this, it's gonna be tough. So I'm gonna use a drill press and a drill to make the hole bigger. And that's the only thing we can do. And even then, I still don't know if it's gonna fit yet, so. I'm, uh, I'm not impressed by this kit at all. Kinda pissed off at it. Now what I'm gonna do is put this in the drill press. I don't think it'll spin. If I, if I clamp it on pretty good. The question is, can I clamp it on flat? So we, it's very important that you do this flat, okay? Make sure everything is flat. I cannot get this on here flat. Gotta make sure that's right in the middle, man. <laughs> okay? All right, guys, here it goes. Let me get my safety glasses up. I don't think it'll spin at all if it gets caught, but yeah, it could break the break. It could break the drill bit off. Oh, I forgot to tighten the chuck. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there we go. Just letting it do its do its thing here. Okay. I hope that did the trick. <laughs> you can definitely tell I took us some material off of it. All right. It's pretty easy. It's pretty soft. It's brass. So. Okay. So unfortunately, right. it still doesn't fit. All right. It's got to be bigger. But it is looser now. I can definitely tell. Who knows? I hope I'm not just ruining this, man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go the next bit okay, up. Okay, so I've gotten the next bit up. This is a 1532. Alright, the first... What was it? The first one we drilled was a 2964. Now we're doing a 1532, okay? I shouldn't have to do this, man, I'm telling you. What kind of product is this? <laughs> So the important thing is I kind of want to just let it kind of center itself, all right? Yeah, I scratched the crap out of it, man. See how it just kind of just took that and just... one was much better than this one man. okay let's try that one out okay so this one still won't go over also all right try and try it you can tell it's quite a bit larger than the than the shaft already it still won't go in there I want it so it'll just slide in there right but it won't okay so I'm gonna go to the next drill bit up and I'm just gonna do this and then I'll let you guys know which one works finally. <laughs> so this is okay, the, the third one. Out much right. better than the last one. This is a 3164, okay? 3160. I wish I had metric drill bits, man. Alright guys, <laughs> well it fits, but it's really loose now. So what the hell man? I couldn't get the one that was just the right size. So I think the last one was like perfect, but I think I, I probably drilled it crooked also. That probably doesn't help. But it has a fair amount of play in it, man. I don't think that's gonna do jack, man. But, but hey, it goes over the shaft now. <laughs> so you can see how much how much it steps up. There's a step on the shift shaft, okay? Look at how much play that is, right? And in here, there's there's hardly any play. Well, well, there's less play. Now there's play. There's, ah, damn it, I know. 
I'm kind of pissed off at this, man. All right, so anyway, let's go try to install it now. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to install it real quick. Let me, let me make sure this is clean real quick. So you're gonna put it like this. I'm just gonna do like a quick install, sort of. And then you wanna put the spacer here. It's still, it's still kinda not long. It's not, still really not the right size either, man. What the heck? All right, this is not the, okay, you're gonna put this in. All right, at least the bolts fit now. Okay, and then, ooh, hold on. The other one's gonna be hard to get to. There's not a whole lot of room to work with on that one. So here's what I would do. Take this out. This one, you can leave out, okay? This one, put the bolt in first, then put the spacer, all right, and then put this in. Okay, there you go. Slide that puppy in there. Oh, oh, the uh, my uh, my foot peg is in the way. Oh, what the? It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit with the uh, with the foot peg. Ah, what the heck, man? Are you shitting me? Yeah, the bolt won't go in. All right, hold on, hold on. I can, I can, I can fix that. I'm just gonna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind the head of the bolt a little bit, okay? So it'll fit past my my uh, foot peg bracket. This is this is no good, man. Okay, so what I did is I grinded this a, a flat piece of the bolt, okay? So it'll clear this. Let me see if it'll go. Oh, nope. Nope, it won't fit, man. You gotta take the step bar out to install it now. What the hell, dude? This is not good. Like, the bolt won't even go in there. Garbage. But this bolt will go in there. The original one will. Can we use the original one? Let's see. No. No, it's not long enough, though. This kit is no good. And it doesn't even go all the way. Let me see. Let me tighten this. Oh no, it does. It does. Okay, yeah, we have to find a way to get the bolt in. I guess we gotta take the step bar off, man. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, we gotta take the step bar off. So, yeah, hey, if you got a, if you got one of these Honda side stands, it's not gonna fit. The bolt's not gonna fit in there. Now maybe I can find the bolt that'll fit in there. Let me see if I got one that that's just the right size, you know, where it'll fit in there. Or maybe we can try to shorten another one. Uh, then then it might not reach, you know. So we gotta find like the right combination type of thing. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna loosen my step bar. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna loosen it enough where I can get that bolt through because it's kind of stuck now. <laughs> No big deal, I got it. Okay, that looks like enough, okay? Okay, I can get the bolt in and out now. Woohoo, hooray! All right, so, so what I would do is put the spacer behind this one and then put this one in first, okay? And hopefully, hopefully it all fits in there, man. Okay, and then I get the bolt in the hole. Okay, it clears now. After grinding the crap out of it. Okay, and then now you can get the other one. Okay, stick it in there, and I'm gonna go tighten it. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna do much, all right? I can't even, I can't even tighten it because the step bar's in the way. Yeah, let me loosen the step bar more. This is, this is no good. Put me through a lot of unnecessary grief here, man. <laughs> 
don't want to take this step more off because it's kind of a pain in the ass with that car. <laughs> gotta line everything up. Okay. It should be pretty low already. Okay. Okay. And just kind of tighten each one a little bit at a time. Okay, and then I'm gonna go get my torque wrench out. Okay, so according to the manual, it's nine foot pounds, all right, or 12 Newton meters, all right? So I've got a torque wrench here with a long uh, five millimeter extension on it because we're gonna need it for this one here for sure. Okay, torque it. Okay, there's one. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't put grease on it, dude. Dude, honestly, I don't think this is gonna help at all, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's not gonna do anything, man. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put grease on it, all right? I'm gonna take it back out. I'm gonna put grease on it before I before I tighten it up. Okay, but that that's just like kind of the mock install, all right? All right, I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, I got it back on there. Snug both sides. Okay, I'm gonna get our torque wrench and torque it to nine uh, foot pounds. Tightening each one at a time. Okay, there's nine. Okay. Uh, all right, and then I'm gonna go tighten up my step bar. Okay, there it is. Uh, now we just gotta put the shifter lever back on. So just make sure you put it back in the same position you found it. Okay, if not, it's not a big deal. You can just uh, take it back out and move it a little bit, all right? so. Sorry, my shifter's a little janky. Okay, there it is. I hope you guys enjoy watching me struggle install it. If I'll tell you this, once it's on the bike, you won't even know it's there, okay? Um, and it's probably not doing anything because I probably didn't didn't drill the hole out to the perfect size. So there it will be some play no matter what, okay? But there it is. Does it feel like it makes a difference? I don't know. I won't be able to tell until I ride it. Uh, but definitely it will... It... it it should help a little bit as long as if it touches it just a little bit it's fine i guess but uh yeah dude mm, not happy with this at all at all yeah can i does it look like the shifter moves at all yeah i don't know man uh so we're just gonna have to ride it and find out okay but yeah yeah it still moves <laughs> yeah i can see the shift shaft move it's still i don't think this thing does anything man but what it'll do is it'll, if it does move, it'll only let it move so far, okay? Sort of, sort of, kind of. Um, all right, so, yeah, all right, all right. All right, he's me here. This is the closing video clip for the Chimera uh, shifter shaft support uh, video. So I I'll tell you this, it, it gave me a lot of unnecessary grief having to install that thing, man, all right? You can't even tell it's there, and I don't even know if it does anything. I've got to go take it out for a test ride, so uh, so that will be uh, that'll that'll be like a kind of follow up video to this one, okay? Um, 
But uh, the tools that I had to use to install it were 10 millimeter wrenches, all right, to take the, um, the shifter lever out. Okay, and then uh, I, had to, I had to loosen my step bar so I can get that longer bolt in. So I had to use this, um, or I had to use a number of 12 millimeter tools <laughs> to, to get the step, to, I, all I did was loosen the step bar. I didn't take it out, okay? It's kind of a pain in the ass to put back in. That's why I didn't take it out. Uh, but you could if you want. Um, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, what else? So I'm kind of pissed off that, that that thing was in the right size, okay? So the if you look at the shaft, uh, it's, ele it's like 11 millimeters at the tip, and then it, it gets bigger, okay? It gets bigger. It goes up to almost like 12 millimeters, all right? So it steps up. And so this was only designed for that 11 millimeter part, okay? It didn't fit the 12 millimeter part, all right, when I measured it. So what I had to do, what I had to do was use my drill press, and I started with the 716 bit, and then I worked it way up to 3164 bit, okay? Um, now I, I get, I have a feeling that the bit before that one was the right one, but it just it wasn't going in. I think I was drilling it crooked. If, if possible, try to drill that thing. Uh, try to drill that thing in straight, okay? I was just kind of letting the, um, I was kind of letting the drill bit kind of just center itself, all right? And, and like I think it it was it's a little crooked so I think the the, the hole is a little cockeyed okay so yeah what can I say man uh, it's you know I, I don't have like a machine shop dude <laughs> um, the the tolerances on this are very very close are very very precision okay and and it only fits over the front part it, I I tried I pushed and I pushed it will not go through there it's like you're trying to push something smaller. It's, yeah, you're trying to push like a hole that's smaller onto something bigger, okay? It's not going to work without like destroying something, all right? So don't don't force it. Um, so can I recommend this Chimera uh, shift shaft uh, support? No, I cannot. It did not install the way I wanted it to, okay? Um, I, had, I had to move the step bar because the, the, the side stand bracket gets in the way, all right? So if you have a, side, a Honda side stand, it will not just go in. You have to loosen it and just move it a little bit. I tried grinding the bolt so I could clearance it enough to get in in there. Didn't work, okay? Maybe it helped a little bit, but what helped was just loosening the step bar, okay? And just, just dropping it just a few millimeters so you can get the whole thing in there. Um, I'm not happy with the install at all, okay? I, I Maybe it fits a Grom, maybe it fits a Monkey, and maybe it fits a CT125, uh, but it doesn't fit Oh, Super Cub 1C125, okay? Mm -mm, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not without modification, all right? So I don't even know if it's doing anything because it's like, it's kind of loose. It, it's kind of flopping around in there. So the so the shifter will flop around a little bit, but it has a little support. Yeah, I guess if you hit it hard enough and, and it does deflect, it won't deflect that far, okay? So it... In, in a way, it's kind of it should help, okay, but I, not as much as if it fit properly, okay. So I cannot recommend this Chimera shifter shaft support at all, okay. Um, there, I don't know any other brand that you can get in the United States. I know there's some in Japan. I think Kitako sells one or something. So, uh, but it does not fit on the Super Cub properly, okay. I had to modify it so it does. So it does say on the packaging. It does say on the packaging, Chimera Honda Grom Monkey Cub 125 Shift Shaft Support. However, it does not fit, all right? I feel like I wasted my money on this, okay? It's a nice it's a nice little piece of product, but it didn't fit, okay? And, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. It didn't, fit, it didn't fit the way it's supposed to fit, all right? Um, I, I don't think... I, I don't know if those other models of bikes, the Grom or the Monkey, have this the kind of shame shifter shaft is this all right the the super cub has like i think the it's a different bike okay <laughs> it's a, it's got a different kind of shifter all right uh i i've seen the grom shifter and it's like a it's like a sport bike shifter it has the linkages and all that this is a direct linkage okay so um that's the difference between those bikes and i i believe you know maybe honda updated the shift shaft maybe they made it thicker because because it was you know they needed to give it more support that's 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 what I'm thinking because this is such a big shift lever, you know, and you're just you're just punching it, you're just kicking it every time you're riding. So, <laughs> so that's why that's why I wanted to have something like that, a, a shifter support, okay? 
But um, unfortunately, this one didn't fit perfectly, so I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna it's a pain in the ass to put on. It's a pain in the ass to take off. You know, I'm just gonna leave it on there, and hopefully it does its thing. So I will have a follow-up video clip after this clip, and uh, I will let you guys know uh, if it made a difference. <laughs> All right. All right, it's big out. So if that's a $47 from Steady Garage, uh, is Chimera, Chimera Shift Shaft support, um, and uh, and it doesn't it doesn't fit without modification. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So uh, also uh, you're gonna have the two bolts left over. Okay, um, I don't know. Just save them just in case you plan on taking that thing off again. Um, you should definitely have a torque wrench, all right? Nine foot-pounds or 12 newton meters is what you want to torque those bolts to, okay? Um, and then, uh, yeah, be very careful. Uh, yeah, also another thing, be very careful when you put the bolt back on for your shifter because when, when I had bought, I bought my Super Cub used, the head was sheared off. It broke off of the shift, uh, of the for the shifter, and, it, and the, the, the rest of the bolt was stuck in there, and it was a real pain in the ass to get it out, okay? I, I didn't do it. The previous owner did it, uh, so I guess that that's that bolt is kind of um, kind of soft. Okay, that's <laughs> what I was say. It's kind of soft. So so be very careful when you tighten that. There is no there is no torque spec for it. I think, um, and uh, and yeah, you could you could totally break it. So if you uh, if you break it, uh, it sucks. All right. If I were if if it were me, I would have just drilled i would have taken the shifter off drilled through the threads and then stuck a bolt and nut in there and call it a day <laughs> that, that way that will not happen okay so that's that's what i wound up doing with this i i put a bolt and a nut on there and then and then so like if the if the bolt does break it'll just the whole thing will just come right out okay so so yeah i uh i i suggest you be very careful when you tighten the shifter bolt okay I don't know how hard they were trying to crank down on it, but I don't think there's a torque spec for it either. So, you know, Honda, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, let's figure out. <laughs> you can parking lot action, man. All right, let's make it here. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm testing out the the shifter, the shift support, and you know what? It kind of does make a difference. It, I feel that I feel that the shifting is a little bit more crisper. Is what I'm gonna say. All right. Hopefully it's not too loud right now. It's kind of windy right now, so we're doing the max speed of the the Super Cub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do a lot of shifting on the Cub. I'll tell you that, man. All right, hold on. Oh, damn, I thought we were gonna do some shifting, never mind. <laughs> All right, finally, some shifting. Man, I just, I didn't hit a single red light, man. All right, so I'm gonna do some downshifting now, and I'll let you know what it feels like. Yeah, you know, it might help a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. I hope these guys hurry up, because I'm gonna go past them. Yeah, you know what, it does help. It does help. I. I just upshifted twice right there. Downshift. Upshift. Yeah, it does it does make a difference, alright? Even even if I had to modify it a little whoa. Even if I had to modify it a little bit. Even if I had to modify it a little bit to get it to fit and it fits kinda loosely, it still helps. I can feel it. Ah damn it. Okay. Yeah, so so that's a scoop, man. It it works. It does make a difference, alright? Uh, now, should it, should it like, be better than this? Yes, it should because it should fit in there like, like a glove, man. It should, there should be no play at all. But there was play when I put it on. If, there, if there's a way I can get it to fit on there perfectly, I don't know. But, but you know what? It does. I do feel that it does make a difference. All right. So that, that is the verdict. Hayes Mega says that it does make a difference. I can feel the shifting feels just a little bit crisp, crisper. Okay. Now, if uh, if it fit properly, it'd probably be a lot more crisper, is what I want to say. But, but hey, you know what? I, I guess I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I I can I can be happy knowing that yeah, hey, we got a little more support for our shifter shaft. Okay, I can really crank on that shift lever now. Is what I'm gonna say. All right, 
Yeah. Okay, so that that uh that is what is mega thoughts on the shifter and stuff. It it does make a difference, all right. It does make a difference. All right, here's we go.